Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about another individual who was not a gang member, but ended up being caught in the middle of a racial gang war in Riverside, California, between Hispanic gang Eastside Riva and the 1200 East Coast Block Crip Gang. On February 23rd, 2012, Lorraine Simmons, a poly high freshman and a member of the ROTC program at school, was walking to the home on Georgia Street where he lived with his grandmother when he was gunned down. Lorraine's was just another casualty in the war between Eastside Riva and the 1200 East Coast Block Crip. A gang war might even add racial war in the IE since the 90s that has cost many innocent people their lives. Detectives quickly identified Eastside Riva gangsters Manuel Silverio Barbarian Jr. and Christian Velasquez Rosales as suspects, but they lacked evidence until Barbarian was arrested in an unrelated case and police placed paid informants inside Barbarian's cell. Barbarian confessed to the crime and implicated Rosales in a recorded conversation. The men were arrested in 2015. The trial took over in a two-month course. Not one witness at trial could place Barbarian and Rosales at the scene other than by clothing descriptions. None of that mattered. As said before, police placed paid informants inside Barbarian's cell. Barbarian confessed to the crime and implicated Rosales in a recorded conversation. Defense attorneys for Barbarian and Rosales brought up how both men were 22 and 21 at the time of the killing and how Barbarian and Rosales were raised and suffered tragic upbringings. On Tuesday, December 20th, 2022, a jury recommended life without parole for Christian Velasquez Rosales and Miguel Silverio Barbarian Jr. And just about almost a month ago, on March 24th, 2023, 11 years later after the Simmons killing, Eastside Riva gangsters Manuel Silverio Barbarian Jr. and Christian Velasquez Rosales were sentenced to serve the rest of their lives in prison, getting a life sentence. Music